Hey, what is up YouTube? Thank you very much for tuning into my channel, Lando Tech, and boy have I got some interesting news for you. After 2020, online learning became very popular, and I think we all know why. In the last two years, teachers have been creating virtual classrooms or choice boards to provide a more interactive way for their students to learn. Even though in-person learning is back in the majority of places, some school boards are still requiring that virtual learning be an option that's available for at least another year. Keeping remote students engaged is not an easy task, but I'll show you how to create an interactive virtual PowerPoint learning experience that looks like this. That will hopefully help to keep them attentive. Let's start by opening a blank PowerPoint presentation. Delete the blank title and subtitle boxes. Now, we want to look for a background for our virtual classroom. Navigate to freepick.com. Search for empty room. Click on, then download the image that works best for you. Go back to PowerPoint, click insert, click pictures, click this device. Locate and double click on the background you just downloaded. Adjust the picture to take up the entire slide. Now you can decorate your classroom with items. Click insert, pictures, then click online pictures. The first and most important item is the chalkboard. When searching for your items, put transparent at the beginning of each search phrase. When you found your desired item, select it and click insert. Then resize it to your liking. Once you've finished adding all the items you want, it's time to add your avatar. Most people use Bitmoji as their avatar. If you don't have Snapchat or wish to create a login, you can use a Pixton character instead. To add a Pixton character, you can select Insert, My Add-on, click on the Store tab, search for Pixton, click Add, I agree, and continue. Click the Pixton Characters button, click Get Started, then customize your character. When it's ready, click on the instance of your character that you want in your classroom, resize it, and position it where you want. Now let's write a greeting on the chalkboard. On the Home tab, click Layout, then Title Only. Resize it, then write your greeting. Change your font, size, and text alignment as needed. I went with ink free as my font, then change the color to white, so it looks like real chalkboard writing. Click the Insert tab, Shapes, Rectangle. Click on the rectangle, select your desired font, and type Let's Begin. Now we're going to click on the slide on the left and copy it with Control C. Then paste the copied version just below the original with Control V. Now, we're going to go to our copied version, delete our welcome greeting, and write our first question. Click the Insert tab, Shapes, and select Oval. Click on the oval, select your desired font, and write a possible answer to your question. Now, we're going to press Ctrl-C to copy the oval, and press Ctrl-V twice to make two copies of it. Line them up how you want them and modify the numbers inside the other two ovals. Of course, one of the answers has to be the right answer. On the left side, we're going to now copy slide number 2 with Control c and paste it with Control v In the new slide, select the text box you wrote your question in, then copy it with Control c and paste it with Control v Modify the text and write something along the lines of, that is incorrect, try again. You can even change the font color to red. On the left side, click on slide 2 and copy that with Control c and paste it just below slide 3 with Control v In the new slide, slide number 4, select the text box where you wrote your question, then copy it with Control c and paste it with Control v Modify that text and write something along the lines of, that is correct. Now, go back to slide 1. Right click on the Let's Begin rectangle and select Hyperlink. Ensure Place in this document is the selected tab. Select Next Slide. 
then click OK. Now let's go to slide 2. Right click on one of the buttons with the incorrect answer and select hyperlink. Select slide 3 and click OK. Do the same with the other button with the other incorrect answer. Now right click on the correct answer and select hyperlink. Select slide 4 and click OK. Now let's go to slide 3. Right click on one of the buttons with the incorrect answer, hyperlink, select slide 3 and click OK. Repeat this for the other incorrect answer. Right click on the correct answer, hyperlink and select slide 4 and click OK. Now let's go to slide 4. We're going to swap out our avatar with a cheering one. Click on the cheering avatar, resize it, and let them overlap with the existing one. Now click on the existing one and delete it. Click on the new one, click the animation tab, add animation, select teeter. Click the animation pane, double click the mouse icon, Click the Timing tab. On the Start drop-down, select After Previous. Then click the Delay tab and change it to 0.5 seconds and hit OK. Now let's preview our interactive lesson from the beginning. Of course, you can create as many questions as you want, and you can use the previous steps as a guide. One issue that you might come across is students can cheat simply by pressing the space bar, arrow keys, or the mouse button until they get to the last slide. If you don't already know how to prevent this, I'll show you in my next video. Thank you very much for watching my video guys. If you found this helpful, please click the like button. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe by clicking my logo on the bottom right of this video. Don't forget to click the notification bell to be notified when I drop a new video.